Please welcome to the making of. coming into it. I think it has a lot to do with, you know, how aware people should be that, you know, fraternity hazing can go really, really wrong, and it has in the past, and uh, that, you know, students should be really careful about what they do because it can get out of hand really quickly. You know, I also think it's about people taking friendship to extremes and relying on, on each other in, in ways that maybe we necessarily shouldn't. Um, and uh, in this film, at least in my particular case, it's uh, a little bit about selfishness. I think it's an important film because I think it's, I think it's a film that uh, hasn't been made before. I think it's about the line between self-preservation and selflessness. A friend of mine said it the best way. Uh, it's like, it's a modern day initiation ritual. You know, it's like every culture has an initiation ritual, and this is ours. This is the only thing that we have for teenagers or, or you know, 20-year-olds or whatever it is. It's the only real, outside the box, outside the law, pretty much, initiation ritual that we have that everybody knows about, but nobody knows exactly what happens. How's he doing on his first day? Oh uh, man, we're doing great. We're doing great. What about you, Don? What's up, dude? It's awesome. I love Will. He's great. What I love about Will is he's a, he's a great, he's an actor's director. I mean, he really knows how to get what he wants from you. You can talk to him about whatever you need to, and I think he knows exactly what he wants from this film, and that's fantastic because sometimes when you're working with a director and they don't really know what they want, it can be confusing for you as an actor. We had talked a lot and a lot and a lot prior to coming out here. Um, and he literally said to me before we got out here, he's like, listen, I don't, I'm not going to take you down there and give you a whole bunch of direction and motivation and all this. He's like, I literally am hiring the people who I really want to do this movie. And then it makes my job easy. All I want to do is facilitate and make an environment to where you can do the best job that you possibly can. And then from then on, all I have to do is just tweak things. Will was great. Um, he's prepared. He, uh, he deserves this, man. He deserves great things to come. Um, I hope this film does wonderful things for him. He's, uh, he's, he's a great talent. I didn't get to meet him until I came up here. So that was like, it's, it's always hard when you haven't had a meeting with somebody before and then you're just gonna go do their movie. Like that was a real tricky situation sort of. But he seemed like he was very, very open to everything on the phone and he is. The greatest thing about him is that he's a, a true family man. And that's really, really important to have on a set because a director is creating a family for a short amount of time. And if you don't have that, that foundation, it's, it's a complete mess, it's complete chaos. And he's done a really good job at making all of us feel very much at home and all of us very you know, connected with each other. And, and I think that's the most important thing a director can do is to make an actor feel comfortable on set and he does that fully. You got Cannon over the shoulder in the background? You know I do. Alright. You have to shoot a lot over the shoulders because everything we're shooting is over the shoulders. It's not lit very well. Well, <laughs> right. do you want this clean or dirty? Well, I play Frank and Frank is, um, Frank is the, I guess you'd say the, the pledge captain uh, of the fraternity. And he's, um, he's definitely a leader, a little hot-headed, um, but he can take control of a situation, not necessarily in the best way possible, but he takes control of his pledges and his brothers and they seem to do what he, he tells them to do. Uh, and he never really asks, he's very demanding. Uh, but um, I think he does have a, a good heart in him. I just think in, in the end, he's, <clears throat> he's more selfish than he is concerned about uh, his brothers or his pledges. First of all, shut the f up, okay? Bean, call the doctor, a real doctor. He's gonna be here soon, he's gonna take care of Kevin. We it's all me. I mean, I, I kind of believe that we have every ounce of personality there is out there within ourselves. It's just whether you bring it out and whether you amplify it. Um, I think it's there in me. I don't, I'm not that person on a day-to-day -day basis, but I definitely pulled it out from somewhere, so obviously it's gotta be a part of me, so 
I think it's completely me, but not me at home with my friends or family. Yeah, just here on this set. Adam is sort of like the good side of the conscious, and Frank is not necessarily the bad side of the conscious. He's just the more selfish side of the conscious. You know what I mean? Um, he is much more concerned about self-preservation than the well-being of somebody else. Um, and Adam is completely against that, but does not necessarily have the confidence to overcome in the beginning, and that's a lot of the fight. Mm -hmm. uh, for all intents and purposes, to me, Kevin is kind of a loser-ish. He's not, to me, somebody I would ever really look up to. He's, he's, he's got a lot of issues. Um, one of his biggest things is that he wants to be in this frat really bad and it's I, I think for him it's an approval issue he really wants approval from everybody how does he contribute you know he is there for moral support I think you know he uh, he's there to, to back people up kind of be the punching bag sometimes if they need it I, you know I'll take the emotional drainage of whoever you know whoever needs it you know I'm, I'm there I'm the I'm the go-to guy you need a smile Dial Colin. I play Emily, who is, uh, you know, she's sorority president and she's uh, a leader and she's dominating and she's a little bit crazy. Uh, and, you know, she kind of comes in and, and really mixes things up for the boys. You put him up to it and now he's upstairs hiding like a little. She's a blast to play because I think every girl has maybe thought of being that over the top at some point, or been there at some point. Action! Oh yeah? We just shouldn't break into people's houses and steal their shit! All right, everybody, so here's the deal. Uh, if you didn't read it on the call sheet today, we are crashing a vehicle. We're gonna do it right now. It's two shots. Uh, the first shot is going to include uh, Jennifer getting in her car, saying her line, driving straight back. The second shot is where we're going to actually hit the car. The car is gonna be coming from over here at about 40 miles an hour, gonna hit this car. <laughs> All right, here we go, we got one shot of this guy. Please stay clear. everybody in this movie because it's you know it's a short period of time to, to shoot a lot uh, in, in a very packed schedule and you know everybody's really blown it out of the water. Okay so guys these two bottles are going to blow up. And you will want your plugs for this because this is substantially a bigger charge. Okay. What's the earplugs? Hey let's have They're, they're in have here. They're nestled between these two bottles but it's a lot bigger because we're trying to puncture these. I got you. So you're, you're safe, but it's going to be We're, uh, we're very yeah, yeah. heinously yeah. behind. Yeah. Yeah. Heinously. Yeah. 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 It's okay? Okay. Let's take a look. Guys, let's frame it up. Is that enough? Got a lip. There you go. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's swelling Inside, up. Inside, yeah, it's holding uh, up real nasty right now. Nobody can say it was fake, that's for sure. <laughs> no. We all have to take these these moments right before they call action to pump ourselves up to where we're covered in sweat and our blood is pumping so fast you can see our jugulars popping out and you do a scene for 45 seconds and then they call cut and then you calm back down and then a minute and a half later you do another one, you have to pump yourself back up and by the end of the day you're just absolutely wasted from you know exhausting yourself. Uh, all the people that we met here that um that you got in and around the area are really stand-up good dudes who are grateful for the opportunity, but not only that, uh, talented. Um, and I think that after this movie, they're gonna, there's gonna be a lot of people who turn their heads and like, where did that guy come from? You know, where, did, where is he from? And hopefully they all end up moving out to LA and just Rosalind 2 starts up, except without cameras. <laughs> Cut!